the people of God. When, when you're going down a path and the lion tries to get you, you should shout. That there's no need to go and hunt the animals in the zoo. You know, the lion is not jumping over the, the impers trying to go get the antelope. Everybody is contained. Wild, rough animals. Everyone is contained. But when you're free through Christ and, and you're roaming throughout your realm of purpose, you'll find that every now and then that old lion will try to come get you. But we thank God for his might, for his power, for his grace, for his goodness, and everything going to be all right. Somebody say amen. Hey, God has a special word for you today. If you have your Bibles, hold them up for me, please. And we just acknowledge the God's word at City of Faith Church. We believe in the power of God's word. Uh, God is doing something magnificent, amazing through City of Faith Church. He is building a house. You know, we're going to see today that you should never despise small beginnings. We're going to talk about a lady by the name of Eve. And it wasn't nobody but her and him. But it's amazing what happened talk about a lady by the name of Jacobi and oh man you're talking about being in a helpless situation and then we're going to talk about that little girl by the name of, of Mary this is my Bible I am what it says I am I can do what it says I can do I have what it says I have Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. The Word will change my heart, will renew my mind, and will usher me into the place of my destiny. For the Bible says, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Amen. Davion, go catch that door for me right there. As Davion is moving in obedience, we're going to go in prayer. Father God, we ask you be the preacher, the teacher, and the hearer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And somebody gathered said, amen. All right, we're going to thank you, my brother. We're going to go right into the word. Uh, go with me to Proverbs chapter 31. And we're going to look at verse 28. And we'll continue and look at a few places in the Bible. Let's give God and all and each of these musicians a hand clap of, of praise. All, all of these vocalists, all of these songbirds, all of those that are part of what God is building through the music ministry of City of Faith Church. And again, there was a rounding hand clap of praise. Amen. Bible says, give honor to whom honor is due, and certainly there's a high honor due to each of, of, of the individuals that God has pressed this way. And we thank each of you so very, very much, and I want to make sure that I've used my voice to give voice to that. There's a special hallelujah praise to all the mothers, all of those who have been a part of God's great creation atmosphere of bringing life into this earth through your life. So again, we honor God in you. Thank God for you. Today's message is dealing with just that awesome honor of being a woman of God. I mean, what, a, what an awesome, an awesome, an awesome, wow. Well, I'm talking God talking, ain't that something? Yeah, amen, amen. Amen. Okay, I'm in Proverbs chapter, thank you, Davion. I'm in Proverbs chapter 31, verse 28. Now watch this. Turn with me to Proverbs chapter 31. You're going to look at verse what? 28. Now that deals with that virtuous woman. That deals with that Proverbs 31 woman, that, that, that just that utopian person, if you will. Let's, let's look at that, though. Watch this. 28. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. We're talking about super mom today. 
I want to talk about Supermom. We're continuing in our series, Supernatural Power, and staying in that context, staying in that theme. I thought it fitting just to pause for a brief moment, yet stay in the contextual flow of the series and deal with the thought, Supermom. Because when God, when I see what God has shown me in the spirit, it, it takes a supernatural power to be a supermom. I mean, it takes the hand of God to love somebody. It takes the hand of God to birth a child. It takes the hand of God to stand with your child in thick and thin, in good times and in bad times. So we're going to talk about supernatural power. Now, when we look at Proverbs 31, as you're turning there, when we look at this portion of Scripture, it has no name here. It is not a picture of Sarah. It's not a picture of Sally. It's not a picture of Barbara. It's not a picture of Eloise. It's not a picture of a single person. But what it is, it's a picture that a mother had for her son. When you look at the opening portions of this particular of chapter, you'll find these words. The words of King Lemuel, an oracle that his mother taught him. An oracle is a great standard, is a high standard, is a high principle. And so here is his mother. Here is her son. And he wants, she wants him to find the most special and, 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 and the most dynamic woman there is in existence. So she paints a picture like never before. You know, mama want the best for her son. Ma mama want the son to find a woman that really don't exist. You know, this unique, special person. I mean, she, she's beautiful. She can show enough cook. She knows how to take care of you. She's giving. She's generous. She's an entrepreneur. She's a businesswoman. She never gets tired. I mean, come on. I mean, come on now. And so we have this great standard of this beautiful picture of what a dynamic woman of God is. But if we do not take it in its poetic sense, this Proverbs 31 woman can bring us down. This Proverbs 31 woman, if we're not careful, she won't be able to identify with your experience. She won't be able to identify what it's like being married to a bad husband sometime. She, she wouldn't know what it's like to be stuck in traffic in Houston and, and, and all that type of thing. She wouldn't know quite what it's like to live in this world and deal with terrorism and some of the things that we have to deal with the way we have to deal with it. But I want you to know that there are three women who can identify with you. There are three women that if we look at these three women and these three spiritual insights that each of them have, all of us, man and woman alike, we can embrace these universal qualities that God has for us. The first woman that we're going to look at here in a moment is a woman by the name of Eve. The second woman we'll look at here in a moment is a woman by the name of Jacob, Jacob Ed. And the last woman, if we get time, we'll look at is a woman by the name of Mary. 